folks welcome back to the channel welcome back to the garage i hope y'all are having a great weekend having a great sunday it is bath day for my 2004 gmc envoy and i've got my sunjo pressure washer right over here i'm going to get this thing foam cannoned and cleaned up it's been through some mud this past weekend we went fishing for my son's birthday so it's a little bit dirty particularly on the wheel wells so i'm going to get that stuff washed up but what i wanted to do for you guys today um, in the interest of science my curiosity got the better of me and let me show you something i ordered i wanted to do some testing for you guys on my sunjo pressure washer to see how well this thing actually performs compared to the specifications from the manufacturer so i picked up this pressure gauge this pressure washer pressure gauge here and it's uh, as you can see it's a 5,000 psi gauge and it has the 3 8 inch quick connects now i not only picked this up for my sun joe just to see how much pressure it has in it but i'm actually going to be doing a review of another pressure washer coming up soon on the channel so be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss that review video of another pressure washer I actually had a company reach out to me and wanted to send me a pressure washer to test and review. So that was kind of the main reason I picked up this pressure gauge so I could compare their specs to the actual output of the pressure washer. Back to my Sunjo. This is my Sunjo SPX 3000. It is rated at a maximum pressure of 2030 PSI with an output of 1.76 gallons per minute. So that's what I'm interested in testing out. I've had this pressure washer now for almost a year. Well, it's probably been uh, yeah, about nine months or so. So I've used this pressure washer quite a bit. You guys know I love this pressure washer. So it has seen some use, it has seen some wear. And I'm curious now to know if the pressure output of the pressure washer, you know, both at the, uh, the discharge point on the high pressure side on the back of the pressure washer is close to what the manufacturer claims is the maximum pressure so let's go ahead and get this pressure gauge hooked up and again it is a simple 3 8 inch quick connect so it should make hooking up everything really easy as you can see it is oil filled which is really nice um, the the fitting itself appears to be brass and if you guys want one of these don't worry i will have a link down in the description below i got this from amazon this was uh, advertised on amazon as a north star gauge um, similar to ones you would get from uh, northern hydraulic but as you can see it is branded uh what is that v v pressure I've never heard of that brand um, but regardless it's a 5,000 psi gauge it was about 30 bucks i will have a link down in the description below if you guys are interested all right so for the first test i want to hook it up to the high pressure output on the back side of the pressure washer i want to hook it up right to the source see what the pressure is coming out of the actual pressure washer you know so we're not seeing any loss in pressure through the hose or anything like that you know if we have any leakage uh, through the fittings or anything so again this is just a 3 8 inch quick connect so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this guy up here like that and I guess I'm gonna have to hold this up while we're running the test but we'll do that as well go ahead and get that hooked up let me go get the water turned on and we'll see what this pressure is uh, without the pressure washer turned on as a baseline guess I should have thought about that a little bit more before I said what I just said so this is a 5,000 psi pressure gauge and as you can see it's graduated in thousand increments and then um, you know, it's graduated there uh, what is that every hundred increments so the pressure coming out of my house is probably 40 or 50 psi so I don't expect that it's going to register anyway so let's go ahead and get this thing turned on see what kind of pressure it builds up so that is about 400 PSI right off the bat. All right, so what I've got hooked up here is my pressure gun. Um, this thing is rated at a maximum of 4,000 PSI. Yeah, 4,000 PSI. I have the 40 degree nozzle on it. So let's go ahead and hit the trigger and see what this thing does. so that was about 1500 psi not too bad let me go ahead and switch up these tips here 
Well, let's uh, let's just go straight to the the mean one. Let's put on the zero degree tip. This should build up the most pressure. All right, let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. Nope, so that was about the same. All right, so 1500 PSI off the gauge. There you go, guys. So right at the output of the high pressure side of the pressure washer, I'm getting about 1500 PSI which compared to the manufacturer's rated maximum output pressure of 2030, that gives us about 75% of the manufacturer's claim of 2030 PSI. Now, I am not gonna fault, um, or I, I'm not gonna say that's a fail in any way, shape, or form. I think, you know, being within 75% of what they're claiming um, at the output is, is probably spot on with where it should be. So, you know, after nine months of use of this pressure washer, after nine months of wear and tear, you know, I, I feel like it's still running strong and 1500 PSI um, at the output side is not too bad at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my car washed up and be sure, if you guys haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, because as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a review video on another pressure washer that I believe is coming in about a week or so. So you wanna stay tuned for that one and we'll see if that pressure washer kind of matches you know the percentage drop of psi output that the manufacturer claims so again be sure to hit that bell notification so you guys get a chance to see that video when it comes out as well as always guys thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out the video i hope it was informative for you if it was be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you got any questions about this particular Sunjo pressure washer, leave them down in the comment section below. I read all the comments and I'll be happy to answer those questions to the best of my ability. If you guys are interested in this particular Sunjo pressure washer, the one I use, I will leave a link down in the description below. If you're interested, I will also leave a link down in the description below to that 5000 PSI 3 8 inch quick connect pressure gauge if you guys are also interested in testing out your own pressure washer so guys that's going to do it for this video again thank you for stopping by i appreciate your support and i look forward to seeing you on the next one